This is my able assistant who will now be the uh, camera person. Okay, there he is. The okay. Artist. Basically, what, what I'm trying to get here is to, uh, well, I've got my snowshoes on. It's kind of, uh, kind of a nice day. So we lost the sun. So, uh, but what I wanted to do was to, way over there, there's, there's some rocks that I wanted to paint. So, what I was, as part of my series of two or three or four uh, winter paintings, do that will be that will be part of it but uh, I'll have to invent a little bit of snow I think in some spots yeah, we lost pretty, some of the snow you know there's um, invent the snow and the sun that too well you look up there you can see the sun just starting to peek through well, it, it doesn't going. show up on here all it looks like is that the sun is setting okay okay so, so that's what we're doing today and uh, once we get back into the studio I'll be able to show you the some results. I have something in my, I did sketches already, so um, so we'll uh, we'll get back to it and start. See you then. Okay, so we're on to the uh, okay, we're on to the next section, which is the uh, drawing on the canvas with a pencil. So I've taken my subject matter and I've had a good look at it. I've take, done some more hand scratchings to get an idea of, of the basic composition. Um, then I, I square off the, the sketch, so I know, proportion that I know where everything is on the canvas. I put, do, do my, draw, my lines on the canvas, my grid, and then I do the drawing according to that. So um, it seems to work pretty well. And the whole process is to not get in there like this in a, on a blank canvas trying to draw a little stick in relationship to the rest of it. So it's much freer, much easier to do. But the real heavy lifting is done with the, with the ink. So that's the thing I'll show you next. Hi, so this is the, uh, this is the portion where I begin uh, to ink. Um, this is the ink that I'm using down here. I just use a uh, India ink and uh, kind of a, a crude brush. And, but it's, uh, it's very effective. So, um, going off of this sketch and going off of the screen and going off of my little bit of paper here, uh, I'm going to, to begin to compose in, in ink the, the actual drawing. This is pu putting in, I'm basically putting in the key areas that, that I'm interested in here. And that's basically how it begins. So I'll go ahead and finish the sketch on this and won't bore you with it. And we'll pick that up after it's on. So this is the, the ink drawing. Right now I'm just adding a wash to the uh, canvas and uh, it uh, can be any, any color you want depending where you want the uh, painting to go. Um, then I can add uh, some other uh, colors like um, I can add uh, blue or in this case here I'm adding a bit of, bit of sort of rusty, uh, rusty colors back to the palette again, throw in some other. Just mix it up, make change it all the time. That's the best bet. In this case here, I'm grabbing a bit of a uh, bit of blue and uh, throwing that on. That gives me a good base. Now that's not going to be blue in there. I'm just adding some uh, medium to that. Uh, that makes for a nice, a nice smooth uh, wash to go over the. Okay, what I'm uh, doing here yeah, is so I'm uh, taking a, now, a nice rag and, uh, and uh, cleaning off any uh, of the areas that I want to uh, absorb. Blue. That uh, some of the white that I'm be putting on say, without see that again. being too affected by the, the under, uh, underwash. The, rest of the, uh, the interesting part is that when it gets through into the heavier tone um, the rest of the wash, yeah, the heavier the glaze the on the edges, it, uh, it it affects the the white that I'm putting on. It kind of saves me having to do the mixing on on the canvas. So there, I have just cleared the light on the top of the rocks, and I've cleared some of the 
snow that's going to be on the on the far shore um, and I took it off the sky as well now I poke a bit in between the trees to see how that uh, you can see it's starting to build that way here's a look at it now with the this is still being worked on um, but you can see blaze really wiped off a little bit of a look on, at it pounded on the blue sky and uh, we'll just see how it goes from here okay so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm taking and freshening up the some of the painting in, in here using a more vivid but yet still dark uh, green oh, I love that color yeah, it's, uh, it's exactly what it needed work the trees okay getting away from some of that brown oh it's beautiful that jady yeah now you know there'd be other layers on, on top of this oh look at that light look at that snow now the snow yeah that's my and went across the lake and did some detail shots of some of this so I could uh, you should see what you have on the side of your face oh God. I don't know what you did you have a what? big streak of blue <laughs> you look like yeah uh, I don't know well, from some better than yesterday some when tribe. I started shooting this looked like lucky that I didn't have hair nor makeup <laughs> well you've got makeup now <laughs> Uh, yeah, but however, you're not, this is not about any beauty shots of me. This no. is about the. <laughs> this oh, is about the, the it painting. is gorgeous. It, be, be fairly, it is beautiful, yeah, though. It's a fair amount of difficulty trying to get beauty. That's shots. such a wonderful spot. Yeah. Gorgeous. Now, um, I can fiddle with that later, but I'll show you the um, about, about the, the strength of, of white now on, on here. So I'll remove some of this palette. What's the other palette doing? No. I'll just pull that over. You like those breakaway palettes? Yeah, yeah. I use the yeah, I use the strip palettes. And you buy the big titanium, titanium white. And I'm putting a bit of squishy stuff on there. Mm -hmm. and this is a, a bit of medium. Mm -hmm. This uh, hastens the drying. Use the brush to your... And what are your brushes sitting in? They're sitting in the um, what's it called? Um, um, citrus thinner. Okay. Mild citrus thinner. And then you just kind of give them a wipe yeah. out. Yeah. Now, if I mix as chewy a white as I can. I always mix a little bit of medium with it because short of that it will never dry. Well not in my lifetime. Ooh. Wow. So that starts to bring well that's like if you look out on the lake, I don't know, you can't really see it, but out on Martin lake today you'll see the yeah. earlier this morning you can see the streaks of uh, there's my squirrel friends by the way up there. You've attracted and my blue jays, squirrels, the whole business. They keep me company during You've the day. You've attracted every single solitary squirrel on Otter Lake. And they're getting fatter and fatter. Mm -hmm. They no longer even consider hibernating. So there's the white starting Beautiful. to... Beautiful. Starting to... Makes the other look so dull. Eh? Yeah. yeah, the other looks dull. Before you put the we'll white. Do, we'll go back <laughs> at some point. We'll go back and I'll show you what, what we were we'll reiterate. What yeah, it's a beautiful uh, sunny morning, and uh, what just I'm doing now show is I was out for March. Sorry, in this pain here. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting a very oh. very 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 dark wash in here. Oh, that's really does it. It's kind of like a purpley black. It's a deep. Well, what's it's, it's what's nice in there? Ivory black. Is it just straight? Did you mix more colors? No, just that's it. Just just a teeny bit of that. Oh, okay, a little bit of this. 
Let me just start trying to get this to really depth, put some work it into some of the other areas here. So how far along would you say this painting is now? Well, it's close to being, I'm hoping to ship it, <laughs> you know, I'm hoping to ship it on, on Monday. This is, uh, what day is today? Thursday. This is Thursday, so. But it, it can't be shipped if it, if it looks like shit. <laughs> well, it doesn't, dear. It is absolutely beautiful, and it actually looks exactly like the day today. Yeah. So that's, that's what I've been working on ever since it's we didn't. Beautiful. Ever since we didn't have any cloud. I mean, didn't no. Have any, sun. any sun or any snow. And I'm even punching that up a little bit more here. <laughs> now there's a risk I'm gonna push it too far, but that's not really a risk. Is it possible to loosen it up once it's too tight? Uh, yeah, but you really have to tear it down again. Uh, when you say tear it down, what do you well, mean just by that? Basically, do what I'm doing. You just oh, you just and then you start painting on yeah, it again, yeah. looser. Yeah. I love the way the light's hitting the top of that tree. It's just yeah. uh, okay. So. Okay, so that's it for now. That is uh, just. Say, I don't think it needs anything else myself, well. except a signature. But it's really beautiful. Okay. Okay, so we are at uh, day number, I don't know what, but uh, uh, I'm completing, pretty much completing the painting. I've just dodged around the, the where the light's coming through there. Re I'm going to rework the snow a little bit. I've, I'm changing the, the tone of these well, that's trees back here because they, they were just getting a bit gloomy. So you almost... So what happens after this? I think I'm fairly close to being done, provided I don't wreck it. You see, like that, you wrecked it. So when, when you make a boo boo like that, just well, that's a good part about it. You just take it out like that, and then if it's really bad, then I take a little bit. Of Okay, so if you make a little blub like that, yeah, I just you know, it's gonna take it. It's gonna need one last layer, so just take a little bit of this. And I just clean it off like that. Oh, beautiful! What did you use to clean just, off? Just a Some bit thinner? of citrus uh, thinner, mild okay. citrus thinner. Okay, and then you just. Okay. So it was back. Clean Actually, it just back the way it was. Eh? Yeah. I'm not going to touch it again. So. Okay, yeah, it's really it, nice. Well, actually, I could probably use just a teeny bit down in there. I'll just put a little... A little bit of light. Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. A little bit of light throughout when it comes showing through there. A little nice light. There's no showing through there. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. There we go. Ooh. That's it. That's the final stage is the That's it. Is oh, the signature. Okay. okay. So I think I've more or less there. They, they be, be now before it goes, there's one more I'll put one more finishing smooth coat over the thing with no color in it whatsoever. And well there, that's from our walk. There's a little bit of pink like it's just hit by the light. I wanted to counter counterbalance the the um, green with the uh, with the pink just a little dash of uh, sort of and this pink. amazing um, amazing dark new Philip Craig paintings making their way into the gallery Newly onto the wall. 